Hello there, I'm Tenran432, and welcome back to Shadow of the Colossus. In the last part, we took down some... Surprise, we took down more of the giants known as Colossus, and today we're probably going to be doing the same. There are 16 Colossus total in the game, and we've taken about 8 down so far. So we're going to keep going, we're about halfway through the game. And Mono is still dead. Or not. I, I guess she's just getting up there. How embarrassing. I guess I just lied to all you guys. Wander isn't looking too good. Maybe it's all the, um, all the spirits and essence he's been absorbing from the Colossus. I don't know. Well, looks like I was right the first time. Mono is still, uh, pretty dead at this point. We'll see what happens when we kill the rest of the Colossus. But for now, Wander is only dreaming. Thanks for keeping that scene PG, man. I don't want to get demonetized for all this money I'm making on YouTube. So everything that good old Doorman has just told us, um, was really nothing. We haven't learned a thing about this next Colossus, other than it's in a dry lake bed, which is kind of deceiving because it's, the environment where you find it is definitely not a dry lake bed. Let's head on out in our merry way to revive our girlfriend by killing lots of giants. If you take out the sword and shine it in the light, you'll see it's actually in a lo that location I pointed out earlier with all the black smoke looking stuff. I never actually saw that area until I was going to fight this Colossus. And I didn't realize until later that it was there the whole time throughout the game. And I never, never even thought about it. Over here we got this bird. I'm gonna try to hop onto it and I'm gonna fail. Like a lot of things I fail at, but apparently jumping from horseback and grabbing onto a bird as it's flying in a video game is one of those. Looks like the bird came back and I, I tried it again, but as I've just said, this is one of the many things I fail at. I would wait here for a while, and I, I did wait here for a while, to no success. So I'ma just fast forward this video for you, so you don't have to watch all the the pain and suffering as I wait for these these birds. Alright, I fast forward you guys quite a bit because uh, after giving up on those birds I ended up getting lost looking for the Colossus. But you can see in relation to the castle where we are on the map and you can see by the giant black cloud where we're supposed to be. So we're going to head on over that way, and once we get there, you're going to be able to see that this area is filled with geysers. Geysers erupting lots of steam and water, as geysers do. There's also this giant gap, this giant uh, ravine, I believe is the word. That's my Minecraft vocabulary. And there is a bridge that goes over there. When I first played the game, I never actually found the bridge, so what I just kept doing was trying to jump over, and eventually I did jump over. But that was a massive waste of time, as I later found out that there is just a bridge over here to the, um, I would say to the left, but as the camera moves around, you can't really tell what direction left is. 
We got the sword out now, and by the little light we have, we can barely tell that the Colossus is near. Well, in fact, they're right over here, past this geyser, and towards these rocks. And from there, you can see, oh, a giant cave. So, that's not ominous at all. Let's, let's go deeper into the cave. Hopefully nothing bad will happen. Uh, hopefully nothing of colossal consequence. I didn't even try with that pun, I'm sorry. Anyway, we have the Colossus here. We got a cutscene. Let's let's get a look at that. Oh there it is. So this Colossus name is uh Bossaron, I believe, and it it can shoot lasers at you. So you're gonna need aggro for this fight. Just ride around constantly in circles, or not in circles maybe, because you'll get shot by lasers. And if aggro gets hit by lasers, she'll get knocked down and she won't die, but you'll feel very bad for you about, you know, making your horse get hit by lasers. Because ultimately you're the one controlling everything right here. So I actually have a pretty funny story for how I figured out the solution for this boss fight here. I took a trip to Yellowstone. And, you know, they have pretty big laser er, lasers, not lasers, geysers. They have pretty big geysers, just like the ones shown right here. And there's this nice little poster back by the side of the geysers, and it says, basically, don't go on the geysers because you're, well, if the water starts, you're, you're gonna get incinerated by the, <laughs> by the steam and flaming water. Flaming water is a bit of an exaggeration, but speaking of an exaggeration, there was a picture that went along with this poster, and it was... It it shows a drawing of this Boy Scout, or not, sorry, boy, not Boy Scout, Junior, junior Ranger looking boy. And he's just standing on top of the geyser as it begins to erupt, I guess would be the right word. And he's just got this really nice looking shocked expression on his face. And I remembered it for a long time, and that's how I figured out the solution uh, or the solution to the puzzle, I guess you could call it, of this boss fight. Guys, I actually found the image I'm adding in post-post-script. Here you go. So what you have to do is you have to get the dude, uh, Boss Ron, or that's Colossus number nine, to stand on top of one of the, one of the geysers when it begins to erupt. And this will make him unbalanced, so he can fall, he makes him fall over, and then eventually you can climb onto his back. Uh, this might take a while, though, because the guys are just turn off at the wrong times and and sometimes the boss just doesn't want to turn around or walk forward until it just decides to sometimes uh, I don't know if if I were him I'd just go back into my cave because I know I'm invincible from there but something like this get him on top of the geyser but you see you see like that he wasn't quite the geyser wasn't quite centered on his little I guess you can call it belly make him fall over. So that's why this can take a while, and I'm gonna just speed this up for you, for the viewer, so you don't have to wait through this whole thing. Hey, like that transition there. I'm pretty proud of it, if I do say so myself. Anyway, I think we got the boss somewhere pretty much right next to a geyser here, and we just gotta wait and see if he'll turn around and, and just give us the opportunity to knock him over and then climb up his back and stab him in the head. <sighs> As you can see there, he turned just when the geyser was about to turn off and the aggro fell over there. Makes me feel real bad. But next time the geyser goes on, he should be there and give us the time to activate the next step of our plan. Killing this poor dude. He was just sleeping in his cave, but uh, we just wanted to wake him up and Sell him our newly licensed product for the year, newly renewed, um, Death. We're gonna sell him Death, and, well, hopefully he'll we'll buy it within the next few minutes. That was a really cheap joke on my end, I'm sorry. But, I'm really just stalling time until this Colossus gets onto the geyser, and tips over, and then we can knock him over, and then it'll be all good. <laughs> it really is quite a simple game. So now that he's on top of the geyser, he's kinda unbalanced, and he's... Uh, you can see his legs kind of kind of got messed up there. You can shoot in between his ankle. Oh, 
Yeah. Dorman's giving me a hint now that I knocked him over. But you can shoot him uh, on the back of his... Not his ankles, his heels. And make him fall over. And then you can climb or go around. You have to run around. It's way easier when you have aggro. And then you can climb up his belly here. I don't have a better term for that other than belly. I guess we'll have to do. So you do have to be kind of quick about this because once he turns around and you're kind of hanging on, then you can't climb all the way up to his back. So this looks like it worked, but I just want to hang on for a few more seconds because uh, when he falls over, you don't want to fall off. There we go. Kind of lots of ragdoll physics whenever you're playing as Wander and the Colossus are kind of shaking around. You just fall over like a little, like a little ragdoll. What you wanna go? Want, what you gonna want to? Climb around, well, run around to the back, or at least try to, and then run back up through the middle part here of his back. Not really his spine. He kind of has two spines, and they're kind of opposite to where your spine would normally be. But you're just going up here, and you got his head, and just try not to fall off, because if you do, you'll have to repeat the entire cycle of what I just did. And that part of the puzzle. Well, I did figure it out, and it was pretty fun to actually know that I did figure it out. It was not fun at all to actually do. It's never on the head. Uh, hopefully stab his brains out. I know, this, this game is rated T for T. But that's not blood, okay? That's... Maybe, uh, take back what I said about stabbing his brains out. Maybe he doesn't have a brain? Maybe he just has his essence, this, this spirit, not blood. Uh, but essence that is pouring out of his his head. So unless I suddenly fall off now, then I should have him right about there. So yeah, rest in peace. Again, this Colossus was pretty fun for me since I actually knew the solution. Didn't have to sit around for hours trying to figure it out, or do some weird speedrun method of glitching the game to beat the Colossus, or looking it up online. I, I, ne I never did that once. But I actually knew this one, and uh, it was pretty satisfying to finish myself. But now, obviously, unless you've beaten the game already, I have kind of uh, stolen that satisfaction from you. My sincerest apologies. So that's actually going to do it for this video. I, Sorry, I'm not making the regular half hour long videos as I normally do. Or, nothing's really normal, I don't upload very much at all. But... Uh, it's much easier for me making 15 minute, 20 minute videos than half hour videos. It's only a 10 minute difference, but it's just, it's, it's a lot when you're editing these videos together. So yeah, that's all for now. I'll see you next week, hopefully. All my four viewers. <laughs> I know each of you by name. Alright, peace and sheep. See ya.